We thought it was a great show. What y'all think, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We learned a lot. It was the best. And we loved it. Hey, it was excellent. <laughs> All the kids learned a lot. It was fun. It was fun. Woo! Who here wants to be healthy? Say I do. Who wants to be strong? Say I do. Who promises to take good care of their bodies? Then I want you to put your hand over your heart. Teachers, parents, everybody, and repeat after me. I promise to be the best I can be. I promise to do the best thing for me. Every day from start to end. I promise to be my own best friend. Now think about that. You promise to be your own best friend. That means you're really going to take care of yourself. You're going to love yourself. Everybody right now, give yourself a hug. Pat yourself on the back. Shake your own hand. Point to yourself. Say, I'm terrific. <laughs> you're terrific. We're terrific! We're terrific. Yay, buddy! Oh, I think it was great. I teach science, and they did wonderful. Uh, it was absolutely great. Did y'all have fun? Yeah! It was so informative. Thank you. Who is this right here? You just used your cerebrum again, thinking, adding, spelling, remembering is all done by your cerebrum. One of the most amazing things your cerebrum can do, though, is to take an idea, to mix it with other ideas, and to invent something absolutely new. Now we're going to do an experiment. We're going to use our cerebrum and our cerebellum at the same time. So circle, and I want everybody to count backwards from 21 to 0 by threes. 21... 18, 15, good, 9, 3, 0. All right, which part of your brain, which part did the counting down? Which part did the moving of the muscles? You are so smart. The right side of your heart pumps blood to your lungs. Then the blood returns to the left side of your heart. The left pumps the blood all through your body to all your cells. Now put your hand over your heart. When you salute the flag, put your hand here, not here, because your heart is in the center, behind the breastbone, tip to the left. Now, when your heart pumps blood, it pumps it through tubes. These tubes are called blood vessels. You have three kinds. Some blood vessels carry blood away from your heart, and they are called what? Some blood vessels bring blood back to your heart and they are called veins. And connecting arteries and veins are blood vessels called? Now, all of your blood vessels and your heart and your blood form a system called the what? Circulatory system. That was great because it was just really entertaining and fun. I learned that there's a lot of more about the body than I ever thought. Everybody make a fist. Your heart is a muscle the same size as your fist. Now open your hand and squeeze it. Open it and squeeze it. Open it and squeeze it. Do this for a minute. This is basically how your heart works. Every time it squeezes, it pumps blood. Now you could do this with your hand for maybe five minutes. But could you imagine doing this with your hand all day, all night, all week, all year without stopping once? Your heart does this every single day of every single year, year after year after year. Should you be good to your heart? Your heart is a special muscle. It's called the cardiac muscle. Everybody say cardiac. This muscle needs exercise. You should be exercising actively for about one hour a day to make your heart muscle stronger. Your heart also needs really good foods. If you fill up on a lot of junky, greasy foods, they can clog up your blood vessels. Instead, 
eat lots of fresh fruit and vegetables and, and whole grains and low-fat milk. And so a baby sitting around a baby's heart would beat about 110 times a minute. Kids, right now your heart is beating about 90 times a minute. Teachers, your heart's beating about 70 times a minute. And if we had a larger animal like a deer, deer's heart might only beat 50 times a minute. And a reptile can make its heart beat fast or slow. It depends on the temperature. Let's listen. Love a double, 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 love a double. Love a double, love a double, Do you want to see something absolutely amazing? I could tell you from today to tomorrow not to smoke, but if I show you a couple of pictures, you'll understand why. Now, the first picture is a picture of a healthy lung, okay? This is a non-smoker. The next picture is the lung of a smoker. Will you ever smoke? I will never smoke! It's a muscle called the diaphragm. Everybody say diaphragm. When the diaphragm goes down, your chest is deeper and the air is sucked in. Then it pushes the air out, it pulls it in. I want everybody to learn a song. It goes like this. Up and down, here I am. Up and down, I'm your diaphragm. Everybody. Up and down on your diaphragm. Let me hear it. On your diaphragm. What's your name? Camden, what a nice name. Now straight over here. Now Camden, I want you to take a big breath and then I want you to hold a note out for just as long as you can, like, ah, uh, for as long as you can. And I'm going to count to see how long you can hold it. Okay, go ahead. Ah, uh, go ahead. Ah! Excellent. Keep going, Camden. He's controlling his diaphragm. He's terrific. Let's hear for Camden! Oh, boy. No, no, no. Now, Camden, you just controlled your diaphragm. I want to control it. I want you to do exactly the same thing. Ready? Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me a lot of. Go ahead. You see, when I pushed in, I forced his diaphragm up. And do you know what this means? It means you can play your parents like a musical instrument tonight. Digestion begins in your mouth, not in your stomach. That's why you need to chew your food well. Chewing breaks the food down physically. The saliva begins to break it down chemically. When you break the food down, you're starting the process of making it smaller so the cells can use it. Down, 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 down. It can take up to 12 hours from the time you eat to the time the food is used or eliminated. Do not fill the system with junk. Foods like candy, foods like fries, drinks like soda will fill you up, but they don't have what your cells need. What's that? Nutrients. Oh, excuse me, I loved it. It was so good. And the kids loved it too. Very interesting. Cold, the great cold, the keep you 
straight. They protect your body, hold up your weight. They bone, 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 bone. You got so many bones inside you, it's true, 206 is what we're gonna do. Touch where you feel a bone under the skin. Come on, everybody, let's begin. Feel your phalanges, your wrist, your carpal, elbow, ulna, mandible. Okay, everybody, take your phalanges. Touch your head, shoulders, knees, everybody, and toe. Yes, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Double time! Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Toes, knees, shoulder, head. Toes, knees, shoulder, head. Bones are great. To keep you straight, they protect your body, hold up your weight. Say, I love my bones. And you have over 650 muscles. You have many more muscles than you do bones. And here's why. Muscles work in teams. Muscles can pull a bone, but they can't push it. So when you're riding a bike, for example, one group of muscles pulls the leg bone up, another group of muscles pulls the leg bone down. I do a section of my show called Marvelous Muscles, where kids get a chance to demonstrate things they can do. Okay, he's gonna put both feet behind his head. Whoa! Now, okay, what's your name? Shelby. Shelby, what amazing thing can you do? You can do a backflip, are you serious? No, have you done it a lot of times? Are you, is it safe to let you do it? Okay, Shelby's backflip. <laughs> Shelby! Take a bow, Shelby. Now do it. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Emily. All right, Emily, stand up and take a bow. Very flexible muscle. Beautiful. Dalton. And what can you do, Dalton? You're not sure what it's called? But can you do it? Did we get hurt? No? You sure? You do it up there? All right, let me see. What do you do? Dalton's not. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Dalton! That was terrific! That was, do that again. Dalton, take him out, Dalton. And what are you gonna do? You can? I love this. Very rarely do I find somebody who can do, we call this the human jump rope, okay? Do it backwards so they can see the whole thing. It's amazing. Turn around, take a bow. Has anybody ever seen a worm with a broken arm? All right, I'm going to give you a little music. Look at that! The worm with a broken arm! Nobody's ever done that before. Thank you. Beautiful. Please tell me, where are you from? St. Ignatius! Ladies, what are you going to do? You're going to do the worm? I love it when a teacher does the worm. Let's go. That's a worm! Yes, ladies and gentlemen! Where are you from? Daphne East Elementary. Daphne East Elementary! What are you going to do? She can roll on the floor and do a back bend. I don't know how she does it, but let's see. Okay, she's going down. Can you lift one foot up? Can you lift a foot? Wow! Mrs. Smith! Terrific! We thought of the show, it was really cool and it's funny somehow. We thought it was funny because he did all the dances and stuff. And the coolest thing about it is because we got to learn about our bones.